Sonoma County has some of the most prized wine growing areas in the world. Now Night Beats Betty U shows us winemakers there are ditching decades old practices for new age high tech ways to produce those famous bottles of wine. In Sonoma County, there is a groundswell happening. The signs outside many wineries spell it out. Rooftops put it on display. Even the soil looks different here. This compost matter is meant to increase carbon in the ground. More and more consumers want to know, you know, how was their wine made? It's why Sonoma County set out more than five years ago to become the first 100% sustainable wine growing region in the country. To date, more than 90% of its 450 wineries across 60,000 acres have been certified sustainable. So uh, this is our um, carbon sequestration trial at Sara Lee's Vineyard. Jackson Family Wines has a suite of wineries throughout the county, including La Crema. It's leading the way in sustainability just about everywhere you look. Um, we looked at these bottles and we looked at how we could reduce the weight by an ounce each. You probably can't tell by looking, but most of its bottles are lightweighted, meaning they have about an ounce less glass than the standard bottle. Glass production is the largest footprint for greenhouse gas emissions in the industry. Jackson Family Wines says its largest use of water is from its cooling towers, used mostly to keep its barrel rooms cool. But these tanks store captured rainwater, which is then reused used for its cooling towers. Back in 2008, Jackson Family Wines used nine gallons of water to produce one bottle. Today, it uses less than four. We look at um, how our company um, can um, successfully be around for multiple generations. The used batteries are manufactured by Tesla. Tesla batteries take energy from the grid during the night and store it for use during the daytime. Jackson Family Wines is the industry's largest solar generator. About 35% of its operations is powered by renewable energy. Wine growers argue the wine tastes better too. Cheers. In Sonoma, on the Night Beat, I'm Betty Yu. Uh, meanwhile, vineyards are already feeling the impacts of a changing climate. In recent years, drought and extreme heat force growers to pick their grapes weeks earlier than usual.